If Texas is going to be able to get energy to all of its residents, current and future in the state, ERCOT says there's going to have to be some changes. Today, ERCOT, which oversees Texas's electrical grid, unveiled what it's calling a new era of planning. That, as they put it, would adapt and plan differently to meet future electricity demand. So I think we can respond quickly enough to be able to incorporate and adapt to the, to the pace of growth. In a presentation today, ERCOT President Pablo Vegas noted that they've now had to increase their projected energy demand, known as loads, by 40,000 megawatts compared to last year. As he said in his presentation, the forecasted pace of load growth could exceed the pace at which transmission capacity can be built to support it. Put differently, Texas is on track to potentially not have enough energy to meet the needs of a growing state. There's clearly solutions out there, and it uh, it's, it's really requires all of us to be creative and innovative in, in how we think about solving these problems, but the, there are solutions to them. While that's happening, the legislature, too, is looking into addressing the grid once again. In his interim charges, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick tasked the Senate with investigating several topics related to expanding the grid, including the electricity market's design, the previously passed Texas Energy Fund, new power generation innovations, transmitting Texas power, managing the growth and energy demand in Texas, and the impact of Bitcoin mining on the grid. It's complicated. There's a lot, there's a lot of moving parts. There are a lot of conflicting constituencies and some goals around this policy-wise that are in tension. It's now two sessions in a row of passing grid reform, only to continue to look into further expansions. And already ERCOT says Texas should prepare for more changes. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.